Welcome everyone, my name is Jessica and this is Simple, Cheap and Easy DIYs. I'm going to start off by taking two of these wooden boxes that I got at Dollar Tree and I'm going to take the inside portion out and we're going to be using the two outer portions and one inner portion. So once I have those taken apart, I'm going to use my apple barrel paint in the color Snow White and I'm going to give one thin coat to all three of the boxes. And this is what it'll look like with one coat of paint. It lets a little bit of the wood color come through. Once that paint is fully dry, I'm going to take my apple barrel paint in the color Burnt Umber. And using a foam brush, I'm just going to lightly paint the sides on all four corners and the top and bottom, as you can see me doing here. And here's what it will look like once I have all three boxes completed and we will be softening that brown up here in a little bit but first I'm going to take this bird stencil that I got from Dollar Tree and using um, some of the masking tape I'm just going to cover up all the pieces that I don't want to um, have the spackle in and then once I have that fully done I'm just going to take my finger and some of the lightweight spackle from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cover in the areas that I want to stencil and I'm not going to put it too heavy but I'm just going to spread it out over the entire stencil portion as you can see here and then I'm going to gently lift the stencil up and it will leave a 3D image of the birds. I'm going to do that on all three boxes and then let that fully dry. Now taking my Snow White paint, I'm going to coat the entire box, including the bird, with another thin coat, and I'm going to repeat that on all three boxes. Once the paint is dry, this is what it will look like. Now you can glue the boxes down if you'd like, but I chose not to in case I want to rearrange them. But I'm just going to place the two bigger boxes on the bottom and the smaller box on the top. And then I'm just going to fill it with different florals from Dollar Tree. And you can always use uh, whichever florals you prefer, but I'm just going to fill all three boxes in. And here's today's completed project. I do like how these give a concrete look to them, but you can always paint them a different color if you'd like or change out the florals. Start off by taking this hanging wood plaque that I got at Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna turn it over and just gently pop all the sides off as well as remove the little hanger from the back. And then I'm gonna bend it inwards. So kind of like a reverse canvas. Once I have that done, using my hot glue, I'm going to glue it back together on the sides. And it's okay if the glue isn't perfect or shows a little bit because we're going to be covering that up later. And I'm just going to repeat that on all four sides. Once I have it all glued together, this is what it will look like. And to hide the sides and to tie it all together, I'm gonna to take this jute twine that I got from Dollar Tree and using my hot glue, I'm gonna first take the jute twine and wrap it all the way around the top of our tray. Once I have that in place, then I'm gonna take that same jute twine and run that along the sides that we glued together and around the bottom. Now taking a piece of glass from an 8x10 frame that I used in a previous project, I'm going to place that on the inside of the tray. Now you can also place the glass in before you glue it together, which might be a little bit easier. Um, and you'll just be careful and place that on the inside like this, that way it does protect your canvas or your rather your tray. Next I'm going to take this brown oxide and the apple barrel paint color and I'm going to paint the sides just to kind of make it uh, more rustic looking. 
And once I have that fully painted and it's dry, I'm going to take these brown Jenga blocks or tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree. If you can't find this color, you can always take the wood colored ones and paint them in that brown oxide paint. And I'm just going to place two on each side and that's what we're going to be using to make the little legs for our serving tray. And this is what it will look like once you have your tumbling tower blocks glued on and then um, your project is complete so you can decorate it however that you would like and because it does have the glass it does help protect it if you were to place a drink um, or something on it as well leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of today's project until next time i hope everyone has a great day I'm going to start off by taking a pack of these Brillo pads that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to carefully start unrolling it from the center outwards as you can see me doing here and it's really easy to do and it ha does have the opening so once I have that partially unrolled I'm going to take that and place that over the top of the mason jar. Now I am going to leave just enough around the rim that we'll be able to attach it. And once I have enough at the top, I'm just going to start unrolling it and smoothing it out over the entirety of the mason jar. And I'm actually going to be making three of these, but you can make as many as you would like. Next, taking an old pair of scissors, I'm going to cut the bottom uh, around the bottom of the mason jar. And I'm going to leave enough that I'll be able to wrap that around um, the bottom edge and be able to glue that down. Next, taking my hot glue, I'm just going to start gluing the uh, Brillo pad to around the bottom edge of the mason jar. And I'm not going to wrap it all the way around, that way it does sit flat. I'm just going to um, glue it to the base, kind of as you can see me doing here. That way it, do it won't be able to be seen, but it will still allow the mason jar to lie flat. Now taking this jute twine that I got from Dollar Tree, I'm going to apply a little bit of hot glue to the top and then I'm just going to start wrapping that around making sure that the Brillo pad is underneath the jute twine and then wrap it all the way around the top. Once I'm happy with the amount of jute twine that's wrapped around the top, I'm just going to apply a little bit of hot glue and then this will be uh, what your mason jar will look like once it's complete. Now I, again, I did make three of these, but you can make as many or as less as you would like. I did choose to use this for silverware, but you can use it as a flower vase or for anything um, that you would like. And this is what the completed project will look like. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Till next time, have a nice day. I'm going to start off by taking one of these glass candle holders from Dollar Tree and I'm going to coat it in a layer of this white glue. It actually makes the paint stick a little better and I'm going to be using the apple barrel paint in the color jet black. Now it does look kind of brown on video but it is jet black. I just had bad lighting. Next I'm going to take this 9 inch glass cylinder vase that I got at Dollar Tree. And taking the glass candle holder, I'm going to apply hot glue. You can also use an E6000 glue for a more permanent hold. But I'm just going to place the hot glue on and then place the glass base on top. Now you can remove the sticker if you would like. Also, um, you can paint the bottom as well, uh, the black, to make it match. And this is what it will look like once you have it glued down. Next, I'm going to take two of these LED lantern lamps and I'm going to paint the gold part in the jet black paint. Now, you can paint the underside if you would like as well, but I just painted the top portion. And this is what it looks like once the paint's fully dry. 
Next, I'm going to take two of these greenery branch, uh, bouquets that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to remove all of the greenery from it. And I'm just going to be using one stem of the yellow flowers and then I'm going to be using all of the actual greenery pieces. Next, I'm going to take my greenery pieces and just start arranging them in the bottom of both of the vases. Now this is optional, but after I had them completed, I decided to paint the bottom portion of both vases in the jet black paint. That way it actually blends in and matches a little bit better. And this is what it looks like once that paint is fully dry. Now to finish these lanterns, I'm just going to take the little LED bulbs and place them on the top of the vases. Now I didn't glue them down because they do set pretty good and that way you can actually change out the inside of the vases. And here's your completed high-end vases. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thank you. I'm going to start off by taking this bird image that I searched for online and cut that out. Once I have that cut, I'm going to take some old pages from a book and I'm just going to trace those out. And I'm going to be using two for this project. This is what it'll look like once I have it cut out. Next, I'm going to take some of the large craft sticks from Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut the bottom off of those. Once I have all the bottoms cut off, I'm going to take a ruler and actually make a triangle on the top of the uh, craft sticks. Once I have those made, I'm just going to cut that into a triangle point and that's going to be the uh, wood pieces for our fence. Once I have them all cut, I'm going to take the apple barrel paint in the color white and I'm actually going to take a baby wipe and just use that instead of a brush. That way a little bit of the wood actually shows through. And once I have them fully painted, this is what it will look like. Next, I'm just going to line them up as you can see here and then just start gluing them down. And you can make this as short or as long as you would like. And this is what it will look like once I have my fence completed. Next, I'm going to take this birdhouse, also from Dollar Tree, and using that same apple barrel paint in the color white, I'm just going to paint the entire birdhouse using the same method with the baby wipe. Once the house is fully painted, this is what it will look like. And now I'm going to start working on the stand. I'm going to take the tumbling tower blocks and I'm going to place two of those together. So I'm actually going to be making four sets and gluing those four sets together as you can see here. And this will be the base for our birdhouse. I'm also going to paint them um, in the apple barrel paint in the color white using the same method with the baby wipe. Once that paint's fully dry, I'm just going to glue that to the center of the birdhouse. And once I have that securely in place, then I will glue the picket fence that we made to the front of the stand for the birdhouse. Now for added support, I'm going to take a couple more of the tumbling tower blocks and I'm going to glue those to the back of the fence and this is going to make a stand that way it'll be able to stand up on its own. Now taking the little birds, I'm going to place one of them on the front of the birdhouse as you can see here. And then I'm going to use this word, the home word that I got at Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint it in pale daffodil but you can use any color you would like. And once that's fully dry, I'm just going to glue that to the front of the picket fence.
Now working on the little flower pots, I'm just going to take two of the little terracotta pots and some of these florals that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to place those inside of the pot. And you can paint these if you'd like, but since I'm going to place them behind the fence, I'm just going to leave them as is. And taking one of the birds and a wooden dowel, I'm just going to glue that on and place that inside one of the pots and then place it behind the little fence. And this will be your completed little home birdhouse. I'm going to start off by taking three of these 8x10 canvases from Dollar Tree and remove all of these staples from the back. I'm just using a flat head screwdriver and then a pair of pliers to remove all of the staples on all three. Once I have all the staples removed, I'm just going to remove the canvases off and I will save those for a future project since we're just going to be using the frames for this one. Once I have all the frames um, ready, I'm going to take my apple barrel paint in the color brown X oxide and I'm going to paint all three of the frames and I'm going to paint um, all the sides, inside, outside, and back. Then taking my antique white, I'm just going to dry brush that on all of the frame, again on the sides, inside, front, and back. And this is what they'll look like once they're fully painted and dried. Next, I'm gonna take some hot glue and I'm gonna glue two of the frames together in a V shape as you can see me doing here. And then I'm, I'm gonna make a triangle by gluing the third frame on. And I'm just gonna glue um, all the sides together to form this triangle. Since this will be the top of the triangle, I'm going to apply a generous amount of hot glue just to make sure that it does hold together good. You can also use a wood glue or an E6000 glue if you'd like, but I didn't have any problems with the hot glue. This is what your triangle will look like once it's completed, and then we're going to move on to making the little hanging basket. I'm going to take two of these little metal pencil holders, and I'm going to paint them in the brown oxide colored paint. Once they're fully dry, this is what it will look like. Next, taking my jute twine, I'm going to make a hanger for one of them, and you can make it whatever length you would like. I'm just going to tie it straight onto the basket on both sides. And this is what it will look like once you have the little hanger for the basket completed. Next, I'm going to glue the basket onto the hanger. And I'm just going to apply a generous amount of hot glue in the top of the triangle. And then lay the jute twine across that and make sure that that is fully glued on. Once that's done, this is what it will look like. You will have your little hanging basket. Now taking some of this glitter boxwood that I got at Walmart, I'm just going to place some in the basket. Now you can place whatever type of floral or item that you would like in there. And then this is what it looks like once I have that all in place. And as well, this is optional, but I'm just going to take a little bit of the glitter boxwood and I'm going to glue some to the top of the little holder as well as a couple of pieces on the bottom. Now with the second little basket we made, I'm just going to take some more of the glitter boxwood and I'm just going to place that inside the basket to set along with the little plant holder. And here's today's completed project. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to start off by taking this foam football which I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut it into two parts and I'm just going to make sure that it's even at the bottom that way it does sit flat. Now 
Now taking my nautical rope, which I got at Dollar Tree, I cut a section off that I'm going to be using for the hanger, and I'm just going to use hot glue to glue that on, and you can cut this depending on how big you want the hanger to be. With the remainder nautical rope, I'm going to place some hot glue on the very top of the football and glue that down. And then using my hot glue, I'm just going to wrap that in circles, and I'm going to wrap that from the top all the way to the bottom. Now I'm going to use a tea light to measure the opening of my beehive and using the nautical rope I'm going to cut two pieces that is large enough to wrap around the tea light. Once I have those two pieces cut I'm going to take that tea light and outline a circle on a piece of paper and cut that out. Once I have it cut out that'll be the front opening of the beehive and using my apple barrel paint in the color uh, jet black I'm going to paint that paper that way it'll look like uh, an opening and I'm going to glue that to the front of the beehive. Taking the two pieces of nautical rope that I cut earlier, I'm going to apply hot glue around the circle and wrap the one piece of nautical rope around that. Once I have that glued in place, I'm going to take the second nautical rope and I'm going to glue that onto the top of the first nautical rope and that'll be the opening of the beehive. Now taking some hot glue, I'm going to glue some pieces on the front as you can see here and that's going to be the honey that is coming from the beehive and once I'm happy with the amount of glue that I have on there, I'm going to glue some glue onto wax paper and then connect it and build it up to the beehive. That way it looks like honey is actually dripping out. Now taking my apple barrel paint in Golden Sunset, I'm going to paint the hot glue, that way it resembles honey. Now this is optional, but I'm going to take this bee sticker from some stickers from Dollar Tree and just place that on the hive. And this is what it will look like once it's completed. Stay tuned for my upcoming tutorial and I'll show you how to make the matching little honey pot and tray. Taking this Our Prayer ceramic container and I'm going to...
gonna take um, some apple barrel paint and I'm gonna be using the color Golden Sunset and I'm just gonna
we'll start off by taking this basket that I got at Dollar Tree as well as this nautical rope and I'm just going to apply some hot glue to the top and wrap the nautical rope all the way around the top of the basket. And this is what it will look like once you have the nautical rope uh, glued to the top. Next, I'm going to take this crafting paper that I also got at Dollar Tree. Now, this is optional, but I'm going to glue this to the inside. That way, you can't see through the little holes in the basket. Once I have all the craft paper glued down, this is what it will look like. And then I'm just going to use some floral foam for the bottom. And I'm just going to place these in there. I'm not going to glue them down. Next, I'm going to use these flowers that I also got at Dollar Tree, and you can use any flower combination you like. But I'm just going to cut those off and then start placing them and arranging them inside the basket. After I have all the flowers arranged how I like them, I'm going to take this Spanish moss and I'm just going to fill in all around the flowers. So that way it hides any of the floral foam that may show through. Next, I'm going to take these butterfly wall stickers, which also came from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to use them as is, um, so I'm not going to put anything on the back of the stickers. I'm just going to apply some hot glue to each of the butterflies and then glue them randomly to the flowers um, just to kind of fill it out. And this is what it will look like once you have all the butterflies in place. Next, I decided to go ahead and add some nautical rope to the bottom. Again, this step is optional, but I think it just kind of helped pull it together. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of hot glue and wrap the nautical rope all the way around the bottom. And this is what it will look like once you have it all completed.